Welcome to a very special episode of Hate by Numbers. Today, instead of counting off a clip, let's have a contest between the human centipede and Splice. Which of these two movie trailers can make me vomit first? No, we're in Germany right now. Maybe we can talk to you later? Alright, we miss you. Bye, Amy. Bye, sweetie. So human centipedes just about two girls traveling abroad? The DNA from a variety of creatures with the most sophisticated of organisms. Human beings. Advantage splice. It didn't get me sick, but the whole genetically engineered mutant thing, a little gross. Oh, give me one more! Um, we, uh, we are on a road trip. Can you call, uh, the emergency car service? Okay, that guy's kinda creepy, but this is my 56th episode. I've seen grosser things covering CNN. Tempty. Clive? Splice keep this up. You see how pretty you've become? You're a part of me. And I'm a part of you. Apparently not. That looks like a Japanime cartoon with a shaved head. Unpleasant, but not exactly sickening. The Siamese shipwreck. <laughs> Connected via the gastric system. <laughs> the human centipede. Oh, come on, that's cheating. Everyone knows that when you show someone puking, it makes you want to puke too. Oh, and also that other thing about surgically connecting someone's intestines to someone else's mouth? That was kind of disgusting too. We start with cutting the ligaments of the kneecaps. <laughs> Surgical torture? How are you going to get creepier than that, Splice? It's dangerous! Ah, Adrian Brody. Well played. We'll call that one a tie. What is this? What are you doing to us? There we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who am I kidding? Splice is just Frankenstein meets Manimal, but Human Centipede is proof that I don't own a film studio. Because if I did, well, thank you for that presentation, and before I green light this project, I have just one question. When you first had this idea about a mad German scientist who stitches people together mouth to anus, instead of turning it into a movie, why didn't you kill yourself? Don't you realize that not every sick, depraved thought floating around your psychologically scarred mind needs to be shared with the world? True, spending millions of dollars to execute this monstrosity would probably still be cheaper than the amount you need in psychotherapy, but that's no excuse. This project is so vile that right now even the entire nation of Japan is wondering what the hell is wrong with you. We're not making this movie, and if you get any other ideas about, oh, I don't know, a mutant razor-toothed fetus that eats its mother from the inside? Or a 3D 90-minute spectacular where victims are anally sodomized by ever-increasingly large rodents? Then, spoiler alert, we're not making that one either! And I don't care who you get to produce this or how much money it makes, because you could never sell enough tickets to buy a soul, you sick f But that's just me. That's hate by numbers. And that's all. For now. You're the night. A little girl lost in the woods. You're a folktale, the unexplainable.